Here's everything that I've made in my kitchen this week. My favorite thing I've made this week has to be these cookie butter stuffed chocolate chip cookies. Here's some spicy peanut noodles with chicken. And these mozzarella stuffed pretzel buns and the cheese pull on these made me so happy. I also made some shish tawuk, otherwise known as chicken kebabs, and I served it with rice and garlic sauce. Here's some sweet and sour chicken tenders. And lastly, I posted episode 2 for my cake series. All the recipes are on my page for you guys, and I can't wait for next week. Here's everything that I've made in my kitchen this week. To begin, I showed you guys a delicious 20-minute dinner idea with shrimp fajitas. And going straight into my favorite of the week because I'm obsessed with it was this chocolate cake. It kind of reminds me of the cake from Matilda, which is probably why I do love it so much. And also, so many of you have already recreated it, which makes me extremely happy. Now, next up is definitely my second favorite of the week. I recreated Crumble Snickerdoodle Cupcake Cookie, and the cream cheese frosting and the Snickerdoodle base just pair so beautifully together, and I love the fact that you guys also recreated this one a bunch too. And I also finally posted the blueberry bagel recipe because you guys requested it a bunch. And then for my fail of the week, I made crispy potato puffs, but I did not like how they tasted, so I have to work on the recipe a little bit more for you guys. And then for my recipe testing day, I don't really have a name for it yet, but all the other recipes are already on my page. Here's everything that I've made in my kitchen this week. To begin, I made the fluffiest banana pudding, which is one of my favorite desserts. Here we have a rosemary pull-apart bread that's stuffed with mozzarella cheese and also has a garlic butter mixture brushed on top. And it literally didn't last more than 30 minutes in my kitchen. Here are some bougie pretzels because I couldn't think of a better name, but they were delicious. Cookie butter inspired mini lemon and banana bread loaves and the flavors complemented each other so well. And lastly, for my little recipe testing day, I tested out these little bear breads. There's a few things about the recipe that I want to work on and tweak a little bit, so the recipe will be coming out soon. But all the other recipes shown are already on my page. Here's everything that I've made in my kitchen this week. Starting off with my favorite thing that I've made, I made this rose pull-apart bread. The color came out better than I expected and it was so fluffy. On Tuesday, I decided to make the feta pasta but as focaccia bread. Here are some buffalo crispy smashed potatoes. I also made homemade blueberry jam and with the jam, I made danishes. I love how they came out, they made me so happy. Here I made a rose water and lemon cake. It was so airy and fluffy, definitely going to be a staple from now on. And finally, I made some cinnamon roll roses. All of the recipes are on my page. Here's everything that I've made in my kitchen this week. I made some mozzarella stuffed crispy potato patties. And I served them with some spicy mayo. Here I have cross, also known as cheese pies, and they're so satisfying to make. And the filling was insanely delicious. I made this tropical matcha smoothie bowl, and since I was on a matcha kick this week, I also made matcha bagels. I love the process of making bagels, so this definitely has to be my favorite thing I've made this week. And my two failed recipes I made this week were these frosted animal cracker chocolate chip cookies. And I also attempted to make homemade boba, which didn't go the way I would have liked. Here's everything that I've made in my kitchen this week. Nutella stuffed M&M and chocolate chip cookies. Honey teriyaki chicken tenders. And since I finally bought an air fryer this week, I made some air fried Popeye chicken sandwiches. And paired those with homemade whole wheat buns. For some buttery herb garlic knots with thyme and sesame seeds. And I also made these cinnamon sugar bagel bites that I stuffed with cream cheese. Here are some coffee buns, which basically have like a coffee cookie dough baked on top of the bread. And lastly, I made a Korean lunchbox cake, which is definitely my favorite thing I've made this week. And all of the recipes are on my page for you guys. Here's everything that I've made in my kitchen this week. I made a homemade brioche loaf and it was so soft, it honestly felt like I was pulling apart a cloud. So with my brioche loaf, I decided to turn it into the fluffiest French toast. Then for my fruit series, I cut a watermelon in half. I took out the watermelon guts and used it as a little bowl for my smoothie bowl. Then of course, to support my matcha addiction, I made some matcha cheese bombs. They were stuffed with mozzarella cheese and I brushed a garlic butter mixture on top. I also made these Snickers inspired chocolate chip cookies and I stuffed them with caramel. And then I took two days out of this week to do some recipe testing. I love my little recipe testing days because it gives me a chance to just let out my little creative flow. I get to mix and match different flavors and see what I think you guys will like to see and what I enjoy making. And that's pretty much it for this week, so let me know what you want to see next week down below. Here's everything that I've made in my kitchen this week. To begin, the clip that you guys are currently watching was a test recipe day, so I'm making homemade bagels and I turn those bagels into pizza bagels. And hopefully this upcoming week, I'll be adding another element to them to make them that much more extra, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I honestly love making bagels, it's probably why I have 100 different bagel recipes on my page. It's just so satisfying and enjoyable to make, and they're just, they're amazing, you know? French homemade, I don't know what I'm saying, I'm sorry. Carry on to the next clip. Now, this was actually a fail, I did not like how it came out, so I went ahead and remade it, and it came out so much better as you can see here. It's basically a sweetbread stuffed with cream cheese and mangoes, and I also added a powdered sugar glaze right on top. And for the second episode from my Ramadan series, I made kibbe. I say kibbe, but I got roasted for it, so I'm just gonna say kibbe now. So there you guys go. And lastly, I made this mozzarella stuffed garlic bread, but I went ahead and tried a new bread technique, and I didn't like how much it rose in the oven, so I'm going to be retrying it and perfecting it for you guys, so that will be up next. Here's everything that I've made in my kitchen this week. 
And to begin, I made the perfect mac and cheese with layers of cheese, and I baked them in homemade bread bowls. And I kept getting asked what I did with the inside of the bread bowls. I ate it. What, what else would I do with it? Here are some crispy roasted potatoes, and I highly recommend them. They came out amazing. And I also made some beignets. Beignets? Beignets? Oh my god. I meant to say beignets inspired by Princess and the Frog, but with a little matcha twist. And then for the Ramadan series, I made walnut kataif because it's my absolute favorite. And of course, since Ramadan started on Tuesday, you're going to be seeing a lot more dinner inspo ideas for the next 30 days. So here are some meat pies. And then I also made some kofta and I paired them with the potatoes that I showed earlier. And if you'd like to learn how to make any of these, they're all on my page. Here's everything that I've made in my kitchen this week. I haven't updated the series in a while because I feel like every time I want to record a video or a voiceover, something always happens. For example, last week or last month I got blocked and then this past week I got sick and I lost my voice. And you can probably tell because of how congested and nasty I sound. But to carry on with the video, I made this pesto breakfast pizza, and this is my take on the pesto egg trend. And I also made homemade pesto to go along with it, and both, both of those recipes are on my page for you guys. I wasn't going to update the series this week because I feel like I didn't make enough for you guys, because I usually post about 4-6 to six recipes a week, and I feel like I didn't make enough, and you guys deserve more. But since you seem to like the videos, I'm going to do it and see your reaction and see if I should just continue, even if I make 3 things a week. But the last thing I made were these Everything Bagel Pretzel Dogs, and I think I skipped the Cinnamon Sugar Donut Holes, but yep, everything's on my page, and enjoy, I guess. Bye! Here's everything that I've made in my kitchen this week. To begin, I made Panera's mac and cheese, but 10 times better, because apparently they just take their mac and cheese out of a bag and heat it up in a microwave, so... I got you guys with that recipe, and then with the leftover mac and cheese, which in reality I just hid it for my family so nobody could eat it, I made some mac and cheese balls as well. I called this one the monster breakfast sandwich because I had layers of fried chicken, avocado, tomato, egg, everything you could possibly want in a breakfast sandwich. And for a little dinner idea, I made these mango salsa chicken tacos with a cilantro mayo dressing on top. Now this cookie recipe will be out next week, but I still wanted to show you guys because I did make it this week. And then for another cookie recipe, you guys have been asking me to make crumble cookies for the longest time, so I finally recreated one of their discontinued cookies and it came out so good. And for my two test recipes of the week, you guys have been asking for more bagel recipes, so I'm working on that. As well as a new cheesecake recipe, which didn't come out the way that I wanted the first time, but I'm working on it and hopefully it will be up next week. And follow if you're interested in learning more creative and fun recipes with me. Here's everything that I've made in my kitchen this week. We're starting off with manakish, which is basically just cheese bread, but it's amazing. Next, I showed you guys how to make shakshuka, and you guys recreated this a ton. I was so happy. And I really wanted to share a comforting meal this week because it was the first week of October, and there's no better month to start eating more comforting meals than October, so. I made a garlic bread grilled cheese, and I paired it with the perfect tomato soup. Now, this one right here is my favorite from the entire week. I made peach cobbler danishes, and they came out so beautiful. They tasted amazing, and I highly recommend making this one. I promise you'll feel like a Disney princess. And for the last recipe of the week, I showed you guys another favorite, which was garlic sauce, and I paired it with shawarma. Chicken shawarma, but hopefully I'll have a meat shawarma recipe up soon. And then for the test recipe of the week, I was experimenting with a new brownie recipe, and we'll have it up soon, hopefully, as well. And all the other recipes are already on my page.